Irony alert, armed security going in now to protect anti-gun employees who say they need it and you don't. It was a day they won't ever forget. They were working hard at the YouTube headquarters, spending time censoring people, demonetizing others, and limiting the right to post instructional gun videos on their platform. One of the people who was reportedly censored or demonetized had finally broken their anger and did something about it. She plotted revenge on the people she thought were responsible for her YouTube channel being ruined with violations of constitutional rights to voice her craft the way she pleases. Sure, it's a platform that people sign up and agree to the rules, but when the rules are bent for some and broken for others and the bias is highly obvious, then people have a right to be angered. Her videos were awkward, but they were hers and she was proud of them. Others, like people from YouTube, were not. It was then that the vegan, alt-left, Muslim, female known as Nazima Dam took her anger at YouTube's system and acted upon it in a gun-free zone where strict anti-gun laws were in place. She broke the law, injured people, and lost her own life in the process. She won't ever make another YouTube video, but she fought against something she believed in. What she did was horrible and should not ever be imitated. For breaking crimes and shooting people over YouTube is not the answer that we need, but it certainly got the message across that what YouTube and other big media giants are doing is completely wrong as well. It was suggested that the YouTube headquarters has a relaxed atmosphere laced with gimmicks and fun things to play with or on. They have a slide that takes people from one floor to another and it seems like one of the most fun places to work on days where people aren't getting shot. It almost sounds like Disney World for people who love technology and internet-based business. It was a nightmare when Nazima Dam arrived, but before that, it seemed like a pleasant place, a place that wouldn't ever need armed security to protect them. Of course, that is until YouTube started going after people's rights, targeting their work, and doing so with such obvious bias that everyone from every side of politics can see it happening. In walks the shooter. Bang 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 goes a few people, and now YouTube will likely have to employ multiple armed guards to protect their complex. They went from banning gun videos to getting shot and needing someone with a gun to protect them. The level of irony here is too high. Critics to blame the shooting at YouTube's sprawling HQ in San Bruno, California, on lax security and the technology industry's apparent obsession with giving employees a trendy work environment and good benefits over safety. They now need armed guards to protect the headquarters so this does not ever happen again, or if it does, it's neutralized faster. As reported by the Daily Mail among those crying out for tightened security at all of the sites in the wake of Tuesday's shooting was the NRA. Its national spokeswoman Dana Loesch said it was a weakness in the building's planning or security which allowed Agdam to open fire. The weakness will be found. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. She said on the association's own TV channel. YouTube's parent company Google, which commented after the shooting on Tuesday to say it would cooperate with authorities, did not respond to questions about its security measures on Wednesday. She's right. A company that large who now targets, demonetizes, and censors people based on their beliefs and hobbies had become a target themselves. When a company angers thousands of YouTube video makers and threatens their livelihood, some people do YouTube videos for a career, then, of course, they will face the wrath if someone is pushed to the edge. YouTube and other big companies, especially social media giants, do not need to spend much time on censorship because people will already censor things themselves. Websites can place filters on the site that allow people to follow, unflow content and create their own experience. For example, if you don't want to see something, then you can have the ability to turn it off yourself and not be told by the media company that something is bad. That's all subjective and people should have the right to decide for themselves what they watch. Time.com recently reported that it was just a few years ago when there was supposed to be security hired to work, but now we're unsure whatever happened to them and if they were ever hired. If they were, then they sure were not present when YouTube was shot up by the one person who could destroy the entire leftist narrative on guns. Time reported Silicon Valley security officers number in the thousands, working for companies like Facebook, Sixo, Google, and Apple. In 2014, 
Google announced it would hire about 200 in-house security guards for its Mountain View headquarters and for YouTube's headquarters, as several Silicon Valley firms came under scrutiny for relying on outside contractors for security services. Where are they now? Are they now?